Hi, welcome to Mood Facts. Today we've got alien eels and scuba divers. I originally sketched this piece because I wanted to have some fun drawing long underwater hair, but I got carried away and distracted and the piece kind of turned into something not centered around hair. Anyways, I live streamed half of the line art, but for some reason my streams, like only a few minutes, get saved from them, so I couldn't, I basically lost the footage. But it, it's all the same, it's just lines, black lines on white paper. Another goal of mine when I drew this piece was to work on backgrounds. Maybe it was the colors I used on, in this piece, but it just turned into something that didn't really feel like it was something that I created. Most of my favorite pieces don't really have a background, and I feel pressured to include backgrounds with my subjects. That's kind of a standard in online art, I guess, that I've seen at least, but honestly I'm really questioning if it's worth it. I think I should just keep going ahead with the stuff that I like. Honestly saying it out loud, I mean, why is that even questioned, you know? It's my art, my time, my talent. I get to decide what to do with it. There was actually a time where I really, really enjoyed drawing backgrounds, but that was a long time ago, and I'm sure that passion will come back eventually, but as kind of shown by my recent dissatisfaction with my backgrounds, it's not really something I can rush to reignite my interest in. You know, talking about the pressure of holding my art to the internet standards kind of reminds me of when I was a kid and I had to go to church and stuff. I'm sure a ton of other people can relate, but there's pressure to mold your personality in a certain way and act a certain way and I guess just brainwash yourself until you fit in with the congregation and with whatever your leaders are asking of you but those experiences kind of fueled my disdain for religion at the time because putting aside the audacity of those people who were trying to change me to fit into their comfort zones we're all different people who require different perspectives to survive in life. So just like how in this piece I caved in and tried to pump out a really nice background and ended up with something that looks okay but doesn't really feel like me or fit my style. As a kid I tried to mold my perspective on life to fit what the religious leaders were telling me to do and I ended up with a really warped and undependable perspective that really kind of put me behind in life. Anyways, sorry, you're probably not here to hear uh, you're probably not here to hear me scratch the surface of my religious trauma. I'd say this piece was influenced by ideas like Subnautica. The fish nor the eel were from that video game. They just kind of popped out. Actually the fish was, you could probably tell, it was, I used a reference of a clownfish. And then when I made the eel, I realized the eel was turning out pretty alien-like. So I switched up the color and a little bit of the pattern on the clownfish to try and make it look alien. But somewhere along the line, it still ended up orange. And it doesn't really fit in with everything else because its colors are so not part of the palette. <laughs> Besides that, post-production, I just noticed that I forgot to finish the line art for the other not clownfish fin. So don't look too close. <laughs>
lightness of my pieces has been kind of bothering me. I like the dark, dark colors. I, I do like the effect that furnishing with the color of the splendor can have on some areas, but I would also like some more vibrancy and deeper tones. I forgot to put a base layer of color on the scuba gear, so I'm just going to quickly add that in with a red and the indigo blue. I'm not using the same mulberry pink for the red that I usually use. That might have been another reason why I felt like this piece was too far out of my style. It's because I used red too much instead of the pink. The way my art process goes leaves me with long sessions of non-stop burnishing and on days that I plan to burnish have kind of become like leg like days for me because this sucks. Alright, so this is what I've got planned for the background for everything. This was supposed to be finished at this point, but the background is pretty lacking. So I'm going to start with the surface of the water and try to make it look like the surface of the water. Like, like this photo reference. Um, I didn't actually refer to this photo as I was doing it which I wish I had, but honestly, it probably wouldn't have turned out any differently because my brain just wanted to do what it wanted to do. And next, I'm going to add streams of shadow and light because that's something I usually do when I need to save a background and I'm all out of ideas for what else to put in it. Honestly, I probably should have added some more of the coral reef rocks that we can see way back in the distance. But at this point, this drawing is in danger of being overworked. And if I added more structures, it would have, I don't think it would have ended very well. But as I'm adding in the streams of light, I'm also adjusting the shadows on the scuba diver a bit. I forgot to sign this with ink, so I'm gonna try and sign it with the black colored pencil because if I use my micron pen on top of this waxy surface, it's gonna gunk up my pen and then it won't work. But <laughs> my signature is coming out so bad. This color is not help. Here's my final product and thank you everyone for supporting my art.